We all know that exercising and eating right are the keys to good health, but a new scientific study shows that there may be some additional benefits to drinking a few pre-workout cups of joe. What they found was that at a certain dose of caffeine, lower doses didn't do it so much, but once they gave the participants about three cups of coffee about an hour prior to exercise, they found that they actually burned 15% more calories in the three hours after exercise. The caffeine equivalent of three cups of coffee was given in supplement form. 24-year-old athlete Esteban Orozco was not a study participant, but has used caffeine supplements for years. So the supplements that I was taking had caffeine in it, of course, which gave me that extra kick, extra push, that extra adrenaline rush I needed to get by through the gym. So we do know that it does some things like it increases your muscle's ability to contract, it obviously makes you feel more awake. That's the one that everybody is familiar with. But it also can decrease your sensitivity to pain and your perception to pain. You are able to exercise longer and uh, harder after having taken caffeine because of your le lack of fatigue and uh, decreased perception of pain. It's interesting because I've, I've done it without it and I've also worked out with it and um, you can really tell a difference. Dr. Jason Hove is a family medicine physician in the UCLA Health Office in Redondo Beach. He warns that caffeine-fueled exercise can have side effects. First and foremost, you don't want to take anything in any kind of large doses if you don't know how you're going to respond to it. They can actually cause anything from uh, heart arrhythmias and palpitations all the way to even some mild hallucinations at, at extremely high doses. Dr. Hove says for those cleared for exercise, a brisk 30-minute walk every day is a great start. And that for most of us, just getting more fresh fruit, vegetables, and whole foods in our diet might be better than focusing on this latest caffeine craze. 80% of weight loss comes down to what you eat and only 20% really comes down to how much you exercise. That 20% is absolutely crucial, but it is only 20%.